The Massey Ferguson E-Series compact tractors can be equipped in a tractor, loader, backhoe configuration. This configuration can turn the compact tractor into the do-all machine on any property. For towing and groundwork with rear implements, the backhoe needs to be removed. In this video, you will learn how to remove and install the BH3222 backhoe on the Massey Ferguson E-Series compact tractors. Park the tractor on a hard, level surface. Unlock the stabilizers. Lower the stabilizers until they touch the ground. Lower the boom until the bucket touches the ground. Remove the mounting pins from each side of the backhoe subframe. Extend the stabilizer cylinders to raise the backhoe off the tractor subframe. Turn off the tractor and remove the key. Disconnect the hydraulic couplings. Be sure to install the dust caps. Connect the red pressure hose back into the return coupler. You are now ready to slowly drive away. Now that the backhoe is removed, the drawbar and rear lift arms can be accessed to pull or mount implements. It will also make the overall length of the tractor shorter, making it easier to turn and maneuver up the alleyway or down the trail. Slowly back up, aligning the tractor subframe to the backhoe subframe. Set the park brake, turn the tractor off, and remove the key. Disconnect the red pressure hose from the return coupler on the rear of the tractor. Connect the color-coded tractor and backhoe hydraulic hoses. Restart the tractor to provide hydraulic flow to the backhoe. Lower the backhoe onto the tractor subframe by retracting the stabilizer cylinders. Install the mounting pins. Raise the stabilizers and boom all the way up. You're now all set. Massey Ferguson E-Series compact tractors outfitted with a loader and backhoe are a perfect match for large property owners with a long list of projects or the outdoorsman with conservation plans. To find out more information or check out options like a mechanical thumb, visit your local dealer or check our website at masseyferguson.us.